All right, so this is the <clears throat> current version of my commander deck. It's Niv Mizzet Storm. I'm still working on it. I have some cards in there that I wouldn't necessarily like, like Aether Eyes and just a couple other things while I'm waiting on some other cards to come in. But I am going to, you know, just uh, let's restart and give it a go. Okay. Kind of interesting turn. Don't really want Thassa right now. That's a win con. Negate, whatever. That's also kind of just in there, but I figure it's just not bad to just have one. Because, um, you know, it's niv at Storm, so we're just kind of trying to have a lot of cheap spells to play. Um, and, you know, just a few removal options is never bad. This is probably pretty good to start with, so I think I'm just going to go with it. Let's say I went second or something here, so let's just draw one. Nice lamp return. Uh, we will tap that, play preordain, get a scry to, and draw a card. Our set's reversal is in here because it is a. There's a few infinites I can do with it. Um, copy instant sorcery, return it to its owner's hand. And it's pretty nice. Uh, I think I'm going to move this to the bottom of the library and I'll end up drawing this. Graveyard. All right. Turn two. Next turn. Okay, we got the steam vent. How much do I want to do this turn? Um, I think what we should be doing is probably playing the mountain so I can keep is it a charm up and then pass. All right, wizard class. Well, okay, let's do our land per turn first. We'll do steam vents, even though I'm not even keeping track of life here. Um, but yeah, we'll do wizard class. I have a couple of things in this deck to basically give you maximum hand size. So um, this is one of those. Uh, and plus it can get a little silly later, especially with all of the rocks. You know, it's just really just one blue and some stuff. So we're gonna go to the next turn. This is like one of three of the storm en enchantments. So let's boom. Let's tap. What is it? Three. Gonna wizard class level two. So we're going to draw two cards. One, two. Ooh, young peasy. All right, board wipe. All right, so next turn. Kind of getting a little slow on this one. Yeah, maybe this was a mulligan. All right, we got that young peasy up in here. I think I'm going to. Is it charm? We are going to. Draw two, discard two. Ah, oh, what are we gonna? Thinking this one. I'll toss Thassa's. This might be the bad play. I'm not sure. And I will toss. Pa. Yeah, we can still pay, play Pass and Flames from the graveyard. Pass and Flames is another one that I'm also sort of not super high on, I guess. It's just a little too expensive, but, you know, whatever. All right, next turn. So we got Curiosity. Um, so what am I going to do? Um, man, I'm kind of land starved here. So I guess we can do what we can to play that, and then we'll... Yeah, we'll do this. One, two, signet. I'll tap this. 
play uh, throw a possibility. I'm going to discard a card. Which card am I going to discard? I'll discard negate, even though I know that's kind of like a weird thing to say I'm discarding when I'm not really playing with anybody, but whatever. Uh, we get our elemental token. I draw two. Did not have a lamp return. I play my lamp return. So yeah, we missed one land drop. That's okay. Um, I'm gonna do put some propaganda in play, and you know, basically the idea behind this is I have three token generators in the deck and propaganda. So the idea is like that can at least keep me okay enough like we're kind of light on creatures actually i think there's about 10 we'll, we'll look at the deck after i'm done with like two test plays uh so all right next turn cool lamp return probably one turn off really kind of getting flooded with the uh, that's kind of okay this deck leans a little more blue Um, can we get Niv Mizzet in here? Yeah, we can. So yeah, let's do it. We can. Yeah, once you get Niv Mizzet, you can kind of go infinite. So we're gonna go red, blue, 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 red, red. Niv Mizzet's out. We're gonna go. We're gonna do that. Curiosity. So that's your classic infinite. So here's the deal now is like basically whenever a player casts, if anybody casts an instant or sorcery, it's pretty much over because Niv Mizzet can draw a card and ping. So I have more than 60 cards in my library, so you can command or damage people down. So that's, yeah, I guess that's infinite turn seven. That's not bad. All right, let's, let's try again. Oh, we got gutter snipe. Ooh, this is not a good hand. This is not a good hand. Uh Yeah. Yeah, we got we're going to have to mulligan. I think we do London mulligan. Yeah, we'll do London mulligan. So, restart. All right, what do we got here? Archmage Emeritus, Body of Knowledge. Okay, we can we can mess with that. I forgot what Sorcerer does. Draw two, discard two. Oh yeah. Um, yeah, we can put this at the bottom of the library. All right, and we'll say I'm going second or third. I don't care. We're going to draw. Ooh, Scepter. Nice. That's pretty nice. Okay, so lamp turn. All right, next turn. <clears throat> yeah. Yeah, we do that, right? Yeah. Tutor on a stick. <laughs> hmm. So this is weird because I actually, actually, I guess we could. What? Uh, so we got Tutor on a stick. I don't know if I want to do that right now. I think I'm more in a thrill possibilities this turn. So we're going to discard a card. We're going to discard Steamuggery, which is probably not the best card, but honestly, it's just a pet card of mine just because I used to run it back in the day um, when I was, you know, just playing Is It Shittily and Red Ant Magic. 
So it's basically reverse factor fiction, and that's how you have to explain it to literally everyone because no one knows that card. So we're going to draw two. And we actually got the storm. Nah. Bleh. Not a fan. Not a fan of what we're getting right now. The thing is, I'm running like. I'm running 36 lands, so, you know, this is just not great. Oh my god. That'll happen. Um, we're gonna. Show library. Is there a show library? All right. So what do we got? Expressive Federation might be good. We're just like a whole lot of draw. I'm going to get Consider. I actually really like Consider. Just we're going to shuffle our library. Put that card on top. Alright, <laughs> next turn. Crap. Considering. Oh my god. Let's just see where we at. Oh. I'm just trying to see how many turns it is till I get enough till I get a decent amount of land. Oh hey land. Hey land. That's where all my lands are. Oh, that's where all the lands are. Jesus. Okay. So that one was a dud. I just got land starved there. Let me uh I'm gonna go back and just kinda look at the list real quick. Yeah, we're okay with this. Yeah, I'm running 36 lands, um, which I know is 37 because I'm also running the the spell Song Mad Treasure Treachery. Um, honestly, I'm running it more for the land than I am for the spell. It's just like, hey, land with like minor upside, why not? So yeah, I'm just running it for that. Um. But yeah, I'm running a lot of lands. Just kind of got really unlucky there. But let's do a third play test. Then we'll go over. So we'll restart the game. Okay. That looks better, for sure. Uh, put him in tapped. Next turn. Isochron Scepter. Nice. Windfall. Oh, that's a really good one for me. Yeah, that's you can also mill people with that. Um, so we're gonna throw in the mountain. And do we play the scepter yet? No, I don't think I do. Ooh, talisman. What else I got? E okay, first off, lamp turn. Boom, boom, talisman of creativity. Um, yeah, uh, yeah, 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 you can do that. Yeah, we'll play two. I'm gonna add the colorless. Throw in the Narset's reversal. We'll do that. Narset's reversal on a stick. Uh, basically the cool thing about that is it's just going to give us more draw. Awesome. Alright, next turn. We're on turn four. You get one life. Um, I think that's actually fine this turn. I guess I don't know. Greatest number of cards this player discards. Uh, yeah, I'm actually going to do this. So I have three. Got a blue, 
colorless colorless that Oh, okay. Originally, I was thinking I could scepter the reversal and put this in my hand, but I'm going to have to wheel after that anyway. So, I don't think it works because this says it goes back to your hand. That's kind of interesting. But honestly, this is more of a play for multiplayer anyway, so I'm just going to discard my hand. And yeah, gotta say bye to the rift. I'm just gonna say that I drew four. That seems fair. Okay. And next turn. We're going to, oh, this one's good. We're gonna boom, boom, specifier, oh wait, wait, before I do that. We'll, does it go on top? Uh, lamp return. I guess I could give Mizzet, but eh, I don't really have enough yet. Boom, boom. Expressive iteration. We're going to tap colorless and blue, I guess, uh, to tap the scepter. Okay, so now I get to look at the top three cards. I can one, two, three. So I can put one in my hand, one in the bottom of my library, and exile one of them. I can play the exile one this turn. Um, I'm pretty sure you can't actually play the land if you'd already played your land per turn, but that's fine. Uh, and also, since I tapped this, this guy's going back to my hand. So now the question is, put one in my hand, one on the bottom of my library, I think I'm actually going to put this guy bottom of the library. He's in my hand. All right, so boom, boom. We got Young Peasy. Cast the copy. Okay, so yeah, you're casting a copy. Casting it in Center Sorcery. Okay. All right. Next turn. So we're going to, well, let's land return. Oh, land return. Um, yeah, we're going to express a iteration. Or do we want to opt? Yeah, we're going to express a iteration. Fuck it. Express a iteration. Top of the library. All right. So then, yeah, we'll keep that. We can. Hey, yeah, let's exile him, and we'll move you to the bottom. All right. And did I reversal that? We're going to. All right. Uh, okay. So next is yeah. We play that gutter snipe. Oh, I forgot. I have two elemental tokens. Elemental token. Playing you. Got our gutter snipe. So now we got some damage happening. Boom. Gonna opt. Scry. What do I got? Fiddy and I. Yeah, we keep that. So yeah, we're gonna draw that. Graveyard, and we get an elemental token, two damage to everybody. Um, next turn. Yeah. One, two. So we got blue, 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 blue. Pfft. Kind of at a weird spot here. Cause both these come in tapped. Um, yeah, we'll do it anyway. 
Yeah, I'm going to wait a turn for Nib Visit. Um, we're going to... I guess we can do Express. We can do Sunbird. One, two, three, four, five, six. And yeah, so now we got Sunbird. All right, next turn. Oh, man, we got the whole thing. I kind of just want to do this for fun. One, two, three, four, five, six. Arcane Bombardment. Whenever you cast an instant or sorcery spell each turn, exile an instant or sorcery at random from your graveyard. Then the first instant or sorcery. Okay. So, all right. So now we can do some stuff. One damage. Is it Guildgate? Expressive Iteration. So we got our expressive iteration. So for that, I get a token. We get two damage from everybody there. I cast it from my hand. I get to reveal the top X of my thing. That's two. Nope, nope. All right. Put the rest of the bottom of your library in a random order. Okay, bottom of library, bottom of library. All right, this is my first instant or sorcery spell on a turn. Exile an instant or sorcery at random from my graveyard. So let me, can I view graveyard? What do I got? It's boom, 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 or boom. Okay, so be one of those three. Do they have a random graveyard? They don't, so I'm just going to random generator. Roll two. All right, we got two, so what's two? So, opt. Ah, Cyclonic Rift. Cool. So, that's on this. So, we get a Cyclonic Rift. So, that's another token. That's another two from him. And do I do anything else? And I return something. Cool. All right. Okay. So next turn. Oh, this is graveyard. Um. I'm kind of having fun with this like little storm shit now that we're doing it. So we're going to one colorless throw a possibility. We'll tap two for our sets reversal. Tap two for our sets reversal. Goes back to my hand. Good discard a card. I can draw two cards. Um, so that's two spells. So I'm adding two elementals. That's four damage from Gutter Snipe. Um, first spell of the turn. I can exile an instant or sorcery from a graveyard. Let's view how many we got. One, two, three. So we're going to roll that again. One. Okay, we'll do that. So who's our first one? Ooh, Express Federation. We like that. All right, so we cast our first spell of that turn. Then I get to copy each card exiled with Arcane Bombardment. Okay, so I'm going to get another 
two elementals, four damage from gutter snipe. Um, I'm going to Cyclonic Rift something, and I get to look at top three. Keep this one. Exile this one. I'm going to actually play the exiled one. Um, and this one go to the bottom of my graveyard. No, bottom of library. Sorry. All right. And I get to look at the top two because that was my first. Oh my god, that's every time. Oh, that is one. So I'm casting this, but it's not from my hand. So this goes to the bottom. Oh, crap. Where's the view library? Oh, it's up there, because that makes sense. We'll do Enter the Infinite. on top that's another card cast by hand so I get to reveal that now oh it's a may so I don't have to No, I have to do that. Okay, so this actually goes to the bottom of my graveyard. That kind of sucks. That's kind of a shitty um, bottom of my library. That's kind of a shitty one, but okay. That's fine. All right. Next turn. And now we're getting silly. Okay, throw a possibility. Going to do it. Discard a card. That's two. I'll discard negate. Draw two. That's the first one. Ran from my graveyard. We're going to say four. I don't know what it is. One, two, three, four. Oh, cool. Windfall. Oh, my God. That's silly. And at this point, I'm already, like, just generating tokens out the ass. Because now each turn I get three of those and I'm doing like escalating damage with gutter snipe. Yeah, I got chumps for days. I'm going to do that. Narset's reversal it back to my hand. Um, boom. Let's get the tall rand out. Tall rand's out. We can do this again. Throw a possibility. We'll discard one. I'll discard the Temple of the Epiphany. I'm going to draw two cards. Discarding this. Uh, so since I did that, I feel the top two. One, two. Blah, blah, blah. Access the spells converted. You may cast a card field this way without converting mana. Like a little bit more muscle. Library in order. So we're going to discard, I mean, bottom of the library. Bottom library, but I did cast a spell, so that means I get elemental, I get a drake. And whenever you cast your first spell each turn. Now, this is the hand one. Okay, good. Is there anything else I can do? Yeah. Preordain. Or I can ponder. I'll preordain. No, wait, can I? Yeah, I can preordain. I don't even remember if I did a land per turn. Wow. 
we'll preordain, scry two, draw a card. Put this at the bottom of the library, I'm drawing this one. Now we are going to add token, Drake, elemental, two damage to everybody. All right, next turn. Get stupid. Okay. Yeah, I could have gone infinite by now, but I'm kind of just having fun at this point. All right, land per turn. Yeah, we can move to that, I guess. It is it. Flash. Crap. Fucked up my mana. We're going to pretend I didn't. We are going to ponder. Top three. And what do I do again? I'm going to go... I'm going to draw that. I'm going to put these guys back. I did one damn boom boom. Probably commander damage, or I can get really low. Uh, we're actually going to leave it this time because I want to do the Thassa combo. Um, yeah. So I drew a card. Ping one. Also played a spell. Holy shit. Okay. Um, I get to look at the top one. It's not bottom of my library. All right. Next turn. Oh wait, shit, forgot to shuffle. Shuffle, shuffled, all right. Okay, so there's actually a couple infinites that we have now. Um, so I'm gonna go boom, boom, colorless, colorless, colorless. I'm gonna play body of knowledge. We can draw. Okay, and now since I drew one, I can deal one damage to any target, so now I can ping him. I have infinite card draw. Ooh. Oh, well. And then I'm going to play Thassa's Oracle. And game. Thassa's Oracle says... I get to look at the top X cards in my library where X is my devotion to blue. I have 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11. 11, at least. I'm not sure if these count for devotion. Exile. Okay, these are exiled, so they're not one it, so I'm just going to say no. So 13, I have less than 13. So since I have less than 13, I win the game. Cool. Neato. All right. That's it. That's just a little, it's a little test run. I mean, sure, that's turn 12, but I don't know. I was really just kind of having fun with storming. Um, let's look at the actual whole deck. We can just talk about the cards that I'm thinking about cutting. Or no, I'll cut. Pretty sure I have Jace on the way and Laboratory Maniac on the way, uh, too. 
Lab Touring Maniac is just another, if you empty your library, you win the game. And we have a couple ways to get infinite card draw, or near infinite, or infinite enough card draw, let's call it. Uh, Jace also, you win the game if you would draw when you have no cards. So um, he's like another kind of win con. He's a little expensive though, so I'm not like 100% sold on him. Um, also since he's a planeswalker. But I mean, the idea too is like, we're going to get hopefully enough tokens of some kind to be able to chump block enough stuff. Like sure, you know, if we have trample, yeah, that's an issue, but you know, what are we going to do? Um, yeah, so Nib Mizzet, people know him mostly based off of his curiosity combo, which is what I think I did in two of those playtests. Curiosity and Ophidian Eye. When a creature deals damage, you get to draw a card. Um, they both basically do the same thing. Ophidian Eye is a little bit better because it has flash, and Curiosity is better because it's cheaper. But they both essentially do the same thing. Um, but you can see Nib Mizzet, whenever you draw a card, you deal one damage. So whenever you draw a card, you deal one damage. Whenever a creature deals one damage, you draw a card. So it's an infinite loop. You can This counts as commander damage. So if you have 60 cards in your deck, you can win that way. Um, and then you get to draw a card anytime a player casts an instant or sorcery spell. So sometimes if you just have Nib Mizzet out and you have the... And they play an instant or sorcery spell you draw a card even if it's directly targeting Niv Mizzet because that goes on top of the stack so like they play a removal spell and Niv Mizzet after you have the flash combo out if you just pop that out okay you draw a card you ping them you ping them you ping them you ping them they're dead spell fizzles um so that's kind of a cool little infinite um Archmage Meritus he's just there uh because whenever you cast or copy an instant or sorcery spell you get to draw as you kind of saw we copied a lot of instants and sorcery spells with arcane bombardment body of knowledge uh he has other infinites uh just because i can ping him with niv mizzet to continuously draw cards as well uh and he just gets really big so um that's kind of nice too uh you could also swing at somebody with body of knowledge and i guess i don't know how often we'd be doing this but i guess like as you swing you can cast an instant and then ping ping him, get him really huge and then kill something. So I guess you could use him technically as target removal. Um, electrostatic field, it's kind of baby gutter snipe um, for two and it's a wall. Uh, kind of nice because it gets on the board early but he does one damage each time you cast a spell. Uh, gutter snipe does two damage to uh, each opponent every time you cast an instant or sorcery spell. So those guys are both just like chipping in, especially since, you know, especially if you get on Arcade Bombardment or Thousand Year Storm in the, the field, you're just casting tons of spells. Harmonic Prodigy, I don't know. I have it in here. It gets big. Um, the nice thing it has really is the ability of a Shaman or another Wizard. I think, yeah. Tall Rand's a Wizard. Gutter Snipe's a Shaman. Um, Archmage Meritus is a wizard. Niv Mizzet is a wizard. So anytime you know you draw a card, you get to do that twice. I think Thermo Alchemist. Yeah, Thermo Alchemist is a shaman. We'll get into that. Thassa is. I don't think it affects Thassa. Young Pyromancer is a shaman. So Harmonic Prodigy is. Yeah, it has prowess, but really you're playing it for the doubling up on your triggers. Uh, Talran, you know him, you love him, he's got a thousand reprints. Um, whenever you cast into a sorcerer, you get a 2-2 two -two blue drake. And again, Harmonic Prodigy doubles that, so that's kind of nice. Tandem Lookout, uh, he is essentially creature version of the Curiosity and Ophidian Eye. So, um, yeah, he's just a third version of that. That's his Oracle. It's, you know, nice because since you have infinite card draw, you can just pop Thassa's on there once you get your deck low enough and just win the game on the spot there. Uh, so that's a nice one. Lokes God, again, he might be too expensive, but I kind of love the card. Um, it's more insects. He can also let you draw 
and then you, they can't really remove him. He just keeps coming back to your hand. But again, he is expensive. I have one anyway because I'm kind of an Izzet fanboy. Um, Thermo Alchemist, I at first was like, oh, I don't know. But now I've like really come around to it, especially in this deck, because he actually works super well with um, Curiosity, Ophidian and I as well. Because you get to tap them. Uh, but each time you cast an instant or sorcery, you get to untap him. So you can kind of, you know, do a lot with that. You get to draw a lot of cards with him. You know, you can kind of get him on the board really early before an admizit. Especially if, like, I have, I don't know, curiosity on him. Really great. I can just start casting spells and drawing tons and tons of cards, which kind of helps. Uh, young Pyromancer, young Peasy, you know him. You'll love him. He's got that weird bod but whatever you know he's pretty standard blasphemous act it's board wipe entering the infinite this is kind of another just draw a crap ton win by uh decking out expressive iteration it's just a really good card i think it actually got banned from pioneer just because it's really good i don't know if it's nearly as good in commander because you know i mean obviously variance is part of the game in commander but just the fact that you get to draw one, put one on the bottom of your library, and exile one and play it, that's just kind of nice. Uh, just a lot of stuff you can do with that. Faithless Looting. Um, this one is kind of in there. I like it because it's cheap, um, which is just really nice in this kind of deck. I don't know. We'll see what we do with that. Grape Shot. As you saw, like we can cast a lot of a lot of instants and sorceries in a turn, especially once you get the copies. Um, so, Grape Shot can end up being a lot. It's kind of less of a um, card I'm, like, super into in this deck, but, you know, it's it's nice with the Storm Arc type, especially, like, if you cast, like, six or so. I don't know. You can... This one is just kind of in here. Mind's Desire, this one's kind of better just because it triggers Nimizit. Um, yeah. Exile top card. Yeah, there's a lot of... You, you get a lot of stuff if you've cast a lot of cheap spells before it. You can potentially play, like... just And also, it, when you play an instant or sorcery with it, you get more storm triggers, which is kind of nice, too. Mizium Mortars, another board wipe. Mystic Retrieval, um, little expensive, uh, so I don't know how long this is going to stay in here. But you get to return instant or sorcery from your graveyard. Pass some flames. This is definitely not staying in here. It's also expensive. But you get to play anything in your graveyard. Um, and I have a lot of like one cost spells. So, you know, that's really not that bad. Ponder. Okay, classic. Preordain. More card draw. Saw the equation. Card draw. Um, and a tutor. Song Mad Treachery, it's in here because it's the land. It's also just, I think it's better than just a mountain, so why not? Uh, Windfall, it's a wheel. Uh, Aetherize, I'm really not huge on. It's kind of just in here right now until I get something better. Probably going to pop it out for, I don't know, I th I'm not sure. Divination might even be better than that, and Divination's not even good. Brainstorm, you know, draw three cards, triggers and admizit three times uh, because it's specifically draw to uh, I guess modern they would say like modern wise they'd probably say scry three draw one or something draw the top card I don't know but I guess that's still different consider I just love this card it's really good um, scry one draw one basically uh, you can also put it in your graveyard which is kind of nice too get the lands out of there um, if you have too many already. Counterspell, kind of here. Figure it's just good to have one or two. Cyclonic Rift, everyone's favorite commander bomb that just makes games take a long time. Uh, Factor Fiction, top five cards of the library. Opponent separates those cards into two piles. Put one in your hand, the other in your graveyard. Uh, Frantic Surge, it's more draw, but then you get to untap lands, so that's kind of nice too. Um, just because it helps you with storming. Is it charm? Honestly, this one is super fun to put on Scepter. Uh, and, you know, it's... It's is it charm. Lightning Bolt, again, storm. Mystical Tutor, 
you know, cheap storm. Our set's reversal. There's actually an infinite with this and turnabout where essentially you can our sets reversal, turnabout, our sets reversal, turnabout. So if you have both of these in your hand, uh, you cast turnabout, you can untap all your creatures' lands to you control. You Narset's reversal. Wait, what is it again? There's an infinite essentially where you can get infinite storm counters with Narsets and Turnabout. I need to look it up and understand it better. Negate, again, just another little counter. Op, cheap card draw. Prismari Command, it's, you know, another choose one. Uh, so most of the time, I think you're going to be doing draw two, discard two, and whatever else fits. Quicken, you know, like at first I was kind of like, I'm definitely getting rid of this. But honestly, it's just an okay card. It does a lot of stuff. Just, you know, you can cast sorceries with Flash. You get to draw a card with it. So it, it's doing a lot of stuff for being really cheap. Seamoggery, it's the opposite of fact or fiction. You get to look at the top five, separate them in two piles, and an opponent chooses which of those piles uh, you keep. Throw possibility, you're drawn. Turn aside, it's kind of in here too, just another counter. Um, Arcane Signet, we know it, we love it. Decanter of Venomous Water, maximum hand size. Escron Scepter, it's good. Clue Stone, Locket, Signet. Mind Stone, I don't know, it's kind of here. Soul Ring. Talisman and Creativity, where is it stuff? Thought Vessel, maximum hand size. Uh, it gets kind of interesting here, because we have Arcane Bombardment. You have Curiosity, Ophidian Eye, those are basically the same. Propaganda, this is kind of just protection early in case somebody just tries to run me down might not be necessary we'll find out Ristic study you know it's good um sorcerer class this is a storm finisher if you get it to level three uh it can just rack up a ridiculous amount of damage also being able to tap creatures you control for fire or uh, water mana is nice because you can tap your tokens. So basically all your tokens become lands and you can get a lot of tokens. Sunbird's Invocation, it's more storm stuff. Thousand Year Storm, the, you know, the OG. Whenever you cast an sorcery, you copy it for each other instant or sorcery spell you cast before it this turn and choose new targets. So, you know, when your storm counter gets up to like 10, especially when you, if you have Arcane Bombardment in there, you're, you're casting that same spell a ridiculous number of times wizard class uh you can basically it's a for the most part it's a one mana you have the maximum hand size which is kind of nice in this deck because you can draw a lot of cards um but eventually like yeah you could pump up something really big if you know you need to if someone has like a really big board Lands, Crypt Expires, I don't know, might get rid of it. It's basically a guild gate, but I, I had one, so um yeah, I put it in. Falling Wilds is a guild gate. Reliquary Tower, more maximum hand size, Shivan Reef, Painland, um uh Shock Land, um Buddy Land, I don't remember what that one is. Uh Life Gain Land, Scry Land. Then I have some stuff here that I might, should put in, like Goblin Electromancer. Um, but the thing was, I was noticing, like, a lot of this stuff, I have a lot of stuff that is strictly blue or red mana. So I just wasn't so sure. Same with Brow Chief of Compliance. Um, Dig Through Time's good. I might do that. But, you know, I'm not sure. And we have Laboratory Maniac and Jace coming as additional win cons. So, uh, yeah, there you go. Little little commander deck tour. I don't know. I wasn't even planning on doing this beforehand, so this is all completely and totally just me talking at a computer. But, uh, yeah, that's the, I guess, current state of my Nimizit Storm draw deck. So, yeah, I uh, can't wait to really get out and 
play the newest version because I just added like a whole bunch of cards really in the past couple weeks and I haven't been able to go to my game store in a while. So yeah, no, I don't know. I'm excited to get out there and actually just get drawn on stuff. So, all right.